What's going on, YouTube? It's Havo, and you got it, Legend Bowl. I'm really excited to show you guys what I've been working on. It's been quite a while since I've made a video and shown you anything with the game. And for those of you guys who've been following, you know that I've been working on the UI. I've been doing some polishing. And this is the latest screen from the game, the latest main menu. And uh, what I've been doing really is a lot of UI, team customization, player customization. I really want to have this game have the, you know, the customization that, that lets you build whatever you want to build in the game. So I'm going to go through in this video and just show you guys what I've been doing, what it looks like and walk you through it live in the game. So as you can see from last time, I'm not gonna show you a screenshot, but the main menus are all very much um, different. I'm using the keyboard right now, so you'll see the key icons on here, but you can also switch it to the gamepad if, you, if you'd like to. But the entire main menu has been, has been redone. I'm going to walk you through a few of these things just to kind of show you. you know, the plan is going to be to have different modes in the game. Exhibition mode, tournament mode, challenge mode, practice, settings. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a season on the release. I don't think it's going to happen. I have way too much to do and I'm trying to get this game out by the end of the year. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But this is probably what I'm going to end up with when the game comes out. And as I get closer to release, I'll be showing you more of these modes. But there's a lot of work to do. And if the support's there, season mode's coming next. But I wanted to get the customization stuff in, and I'm going to show you a little bit about that now. Um, you still have the same thing you had before. You have different difficulty modes. You have um, you know, your keyboard input or your gamepad input. I'm gonna go gamepad now just to switch it up a little bit. See how this actually works and take it from here. Okay, so you got sounds, you got graphics. And what's cool is like, you could turn the helmets on or off and you can actually see them here. You could take the hats and turn them on or off, right? You could do the same thing with visors, right? So you got these three different modes and you can actually see them live right here as the guys run around. So it's kind of cool because it shows you, you know, it shows you an immediate feedback on what these modes or these different settings are going to do for you. So I thought it was kind of cool. So let's just roll back with everything on hats. You can't really see. I mean, hats, to be honest, hats are just a going to be an upgrade in the game. You have either a bigger hat like this or you have um, like a headband. So depending on the player, you're going to have different different types of um, hats turned on. I'm only seeing hat, regular hats right now, but uh, you'll see when we go to the player customization what that looks like. All right, so let's get back to the... Um, Let's get back to the to the editor stuff, right? So let me go over to control. Let me just switch it back to keyboard because I've been used to doing the keyboard. And I want to make sure that this looks all right. Um, all right, so let's go to team editor. So the first thing that we basically did was team editor, right? Now you have the ability to go through six teams in the game. There are probably going to be more when it's released. But as of right now, we have the Sharks, the Sheriffs, the Buffalo Steel, the LA Clashers, and the Minutemen and the Sharks. So the new ones are the Sheriffs, the Steel, the Crowns, and the Minutemen, right? So we have four new teams because we used to have the Clashers, the Sharks, and the Steel, right? So now we got Crowns, Minutemen, Sheriffs, and the crowns, right? And what you could do is you could you could reset the jerseys, you could reset the rosters to the default. So whenever you're making any changes, you have the ability to reset your changes. 
Like right now, I think I've changed the clashers. Let me see. Like, see, clashers look different than they normally do. But if I reset their jersey, it's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes. And now you're back to the default jersey, right? But if you want to reset the actual teams, you would do that here. So if you make changes to the players, the names, any of that good stuff, um, you can make those changes here. So I have a lot to show you guys. And I'm really excited to kind of walk through these customization modes you can do. So we're going to go ahead and start with the home and away colors. So let's say we want to go to my Buffalo Steel and I want to make them look a little different, right? Let's say I want to make their helmet I don't know, gray. And now I'm working on obviously the home jersey. And let's say I want to make, let's say I like black. You know, I want a black. And I want to go more like the, the Raiders or something, you know, just a different color. Maybe I can switch it up a little bit. Put some red in there. So what you could do is you could scroll through a palette of colors that I have pre-listed here. I know what you guys are going to be saying, oh, why can't I pick my own colors and, you know, that sort of thing. And that may happen down the road. But as of right now, I'm picking a palette that actually fits the style of the game. And, you know, you basically are going to get um, to choose from a lot of different colors. But I think these are pretty good to start with. And let's see if we can make a cool, cool uniform here. I mean, I'm going to try to do some things. Let's see. Let's see if I can get some cool colors on this dude. Get the sleeves to look more like the, um, that's fine. And then I think I'm going to change the top to be blue. Let's go with the blue. Let's roll with this. And I might change the pants too now that I'm getting getting antsy here but it's cool because you can change like I said you can change a lot of the different colors you can you know you can make them what you want right and then go to away and you can do the same thing you can basically go through and pick any of the colors you want and let's say we want to do the same helmet let's pick the top to be the blue you know the, like the purple blue color let's flip it around a little bit here Actually, what we could do is we could do like a white jersey for a way. Like do like a lighter color. We'll make it that light blue maybe. Right. And then flip it around a little bit. That looks good. And then we'll throw it around. So now you see you have basically the reverse. And you could change the helmet, the jersey, the sleeve color, the pants, the sh socks, and the shoe. Right. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Yes, I want to save my changes. And now when you go to the Buffalo Steel, you can see that they're they're modified here. And every time you switch through, you get different random guys. Um, so you can see different players. If you want to keep looking at different, different guys, you can keep doing this. And that's the team editor, right? Now, that's pretty cool because you can change any of the team look of their jer jerseys, right? And you can make them look however you want to make them look in the game. And I spent a lot of time making sure that all this stuff was working. The saves are being changed to a file. So when you restart the game, everything's still there. And it's working really nicely. Okay. Now, this is the next screen. This is where you basically can go through your roster and check out your players. These rosters aren't set in stone yet. So things are going to probably change. But as you can see, you can go through every player. And um, I've added more face masks. I've added more visors to the game. And I think I'm going to have it to where when the game gets released, you're going to need to unlock some of the stuff here. You're not going to get it all from default. Because I want people to, to want to earn things and play things and have incentive, right? Because... You know, you want to be able to like beat challenges or beat certain tournament modes or whatever to, you know, to really unlock things in the game. And it gives you, it gives you that grind that you want, you know, so I'm going to be doing stuff like that. So what you see here may not be in the game when you first, you know, when you first pick it up, but it will be um, unlockable, right? And I kind of like that. But as you can see here, if you go through and look at the top right of the screen, you can see you have the guy's 
number, you have their name, you have their uh, position. We have all the positions in this game. You're going to see everything that you want to see, just like in the real games that we love. And these are the core attributes that um, that I'm kind of using right now. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to end up in the game, but we have speed, strength, acceleration, agility, stamina, and injury. Okay? And you can basically go from one to five. Five being the highest, one being the lowest, right? So let's go ahead and, and switch around and edit our quarterback here and see what that looks like. So this is the player editor. And I just got done working on this. It's looking really nice. You know, the game doesn't have player numbers in the game, but you could see here that I wanna show you guys some of these numbers. I wanna see that this guy's number 10. And what you could do here is you could pick any number that's not already on your team. So I'm not gonna allow you to put the same number on four players. That ain't happening. I wanna keep it as legit as possible. And you, know, you could pick whatever numbers are available. And I'm gonna go with number seven right now and uh, rock with that number. And obviously the QB is the position. Right now I leave it wide open, but I'm probably gonna lock this down only because, or have some kind of requirement because I don't want you to have, you know, obviously 10 quarterbacks and no halfbacks, right? So you gotta keep the positions in check. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. Hat, so here are the different hats you can have. You can have no hat, you can have, um, you know, hat number one, or you can have hat number zero. Okay, hat number zero is basically a bandana and you could change the color for every single player. Every single player can change whatever colors they want for each player, okay? I know I'm going through a lot of stuff here, but this is the, this is, this is a full um, update that I've done and there's a lot to cover, but I'm really excited about it. So you can go through all the colors you want in that same palette and you can basically pick whatever variety you want to do and switch it up and have different colors for your headband, right? And face masks, now we have more face masks. I've added a couple more. This one's new, that one's new. And you can see here that the face masks are kind of cool, you know, you can do different ones. And depending on what face mask you choose, I'm gonna go with like a basic one for my quarterback. Actually, I'm gonna go, oops, I don't wanna do that. I wanna go, whoop, I wanna go back to, I'll probably pick that one for my quarterback. And then visor, now you have a bunch of visors. You could do no visor, or you could do all sorts of different types of visors, right? So there's, there's like eight, I think, or seven different visors you could choose from, right? And each one's gonna be a little different. I kinda like the ones with the shades. Right, so if I wanna pick that one, I'll go with that one, and, I, and you can pick whatever color you want on here too. You know, if I wanna go with the gold, you can go with the gold, I might go with red to represent my team. And then um, what's cool is on the top left, you have the face. So like if I wanna make a change to earrings, I can do that here, I can put them on and off, right? And if you wanna change your earring color, you can do that to any color you want. Let's say I like the blue or I want, I don't know, like a, like a gold color, you can go, you can go with that. So the top left is going to show you the things that you can't see under the helmet, right? And I'm going to save this dude real quick. But what you could also see is if I go into graphics and I take off, let's just say I take off helmets, right? Then what should happen is you should not see the face mask anymore. It's not on here. Right, so you're only gonna be able to change what you have unlocked in the game, right? So if I wanna go back and put on helmets, you know, and take off visors or something, right? You could basically, it's gonna, it's going to, this is more of a side note, it's gonna, it's gonna adhere to what settings you have, right? So right now you don't see visor anymore, right? So that's just a little side note because what you turn on here will determine you know, what's shown in the game, all the way around, you know? Um, so, let's go back to our boy, Theodore Rich, and this is what the settings we had before. We changed his number, we changed his visor, we changed his face mask, earrings, and then gloves. You could do full gloves, you could do open gloves, you could do tape, 
and you could do no gloves, right? So let's say you just want to do like tape on this dude and you could pick whatever color tape you want to do. You could do any one of these colors. You know, if you want to go white or more whitish, I go with that color. And then hairstyle, you got a ton of different hairstyles you could choose from. I think there's like nine. And what's cool is you can actually see um, there's so many variations in this game. It's really cool. Let's take the hat off real quick just to see the hair. So you can kind of go through and you have the standard haircut. You have more of a bald cut. This is like Mr. T. Um, another hair, short haircut, shorter haircut. This is like getting the longer haircut. Some braids, some dreads, and then you have like full on, you know, Rastafarian dude hair. And then you got a little shorter shaved sides and you got bald, which is basically no hair at all, right? I'm going to keep my dude with some longer hair. I'm going to change his hair color a little bit. You have all sorts of colors. I mean, you can make the guy look crazy too. You can make them look like zombies. I'm going to stick with black for now. Right, let's do brown. Let's do the brown color. Let's go with like a brownish color. And then you could change like what kind of facial hair he has. You can go clean shaven. You could do all sorts of types of hair. If I want to go with that old goat. I can do that. Obviously, I can pick whatever colors I want there. And then skin, you have all sorts of variations. And, you know, some of this stuff might be unlockable, right? So if you want to make a zombie dude, you can, which is kind of cool. Um, and you have all sorts of shades you can use. But, you know, I want to go with the real colors. I'm going to make just a regular guy, make a white dude. And then... Um, then you got face types. So, I mean, you could see with all these variations, you can make so many different changes to the face, the hair, the skin, the hair, facial hair, the eye color, all that stuff, man. You could just get crazy with this. You know, I can make his eyes black, whatever. And you got two sets of eyebrows and no eyebrows, right? So you want to mix it up a little bit. You could change the eyebrow color, you know. And you could get really, really deep with your customization. I think this is going to add so much personality to the game. I love this feature and I can't wait to, you know, roll this game out and have people see what kind of creations they come up with. It's just going to be awesome. And that's it. So you could do all this stuff here. Now, if you want to go to the name, you can change this guy to be, you know, uh, I don't know, Johnny. Jackson right and then if you want to change their speed or change their acceleration like I said you can go one through five obviously I'm not sure how much I'm gonna limit this because I think it would be cool one thing I think would be cool is if you could limit it to like a certain total number right so let's say you only have like I don't know 15 or 20 points you can mess with and you got to distribute those points however you want you know that would be kind of cool you know, I'm sure people would all use speed, strength, acceleration, and agility, and then not do so much here, but they're going to get super tired, super injured. I don't know. But that's the, um, that's something I'm thinking about doing as, uh, as I move forward. But you could change all this stuff about the player. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'm so happy with it. I love the way it looks. And, uh, you know, I know I ran through it this video kind of quick and dry and you know showed you everything but there was a lot to show and a lot coming to this game and this is the reveal of the customization abilities you're gonna have in the game my next steps from now I'm gonna be building a steam page for you guys to um, check out the game I I hope it gets some you know some views on steam obviously you know there's a long way to go but the more wish lists we can get, the better it'll be. And I'll be showing that off probably in my next video, showing you the trailer and doing a little pre, you know, pre, uh, like, you know, pre steam type of uh, update for you guys. So that's it. So let's save the changes. Let's go back. And now you can see that Johnny Jackson is there. If I restart the game, You can see, let's see if these uh, changes stuck. 
settings, team editor, Buffalo. There are their uniforms. And there's my dude, Theodore Rich. His name didn't didn't stick though, so I gotta take a look at that, but let's see. Everything else seemed to stick. Oh, I don't think I'm saving the name um, in the file, so I'll have to fix that. But let's see one more time. Maybe something weird happened. But that is pretty much it. Um, oh no, it stuck that time. So I'm not sure what I did. Maybe I didn't save it again or the right way. But I'll go back in the video and take a look. But that's it guys, that's the customization uh, screens I have for the game. You're gonna be seeing this when the game comes out and I'm really excited to get this thing rolling. Um, stay tuned on the Discord channel. I've been doing my own private devlog notes. So for those of you who watch it, devlog channel's been a little bit, you know, a little bit quiet, but I plan to be doing more public ones so you guys can keep up with the development of the game. I plan on doing some live streams so it's going to get hot and heavy. Um, my goal is to get this game out by the end of the year. Latest would be the beginning, you know, first quarter, whatever, beginning of next year. But clock is ticking for me, guys. So I got to get this game out. So that's it. I'm going to conclude. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Legend Bowl is coming. Peace.